morning, you guys. How are you? I'm good. It was a little warmer today, going up at 6 in the morning. It didn't bite your nose. Um, hang on here. I am looking for our live feed. Make sure everything's going good. How you doing? Good morning. Um, here we go. That was Linda. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good morning. Um, pretty bummed, right? Hey, Jack. You're here too. I see you. Um, pretty bummed out. I hope everyone's okay with the close, the close, the lockdown again. It just, it set me for a loop yesterday. I had to go to sleep. I had to like sleep. Um, but here we are. We've got this. We've got each other. So we'll just manage, right? Um, I just started going swimming and I just started loving it. So anyways, um, the lead up to this is not to bum us all out. We, we got to do what we got to do. But I'm going to do my Tabata again here and get on it because um, walking was horrible yesterday. And, um, and we're not going to be able to swim. Um, there's not going to be a lot of options. So um, got to suck it up. So I'm going to try the elliptical here. Good morning, Dawn. And uh, if you have something that you want to like... Um, you know, uh, march, jog, uh, skip, uh, whatever for your Tabata, okay? Back day, you guys, back day. Get rid of this noise. And um, what do we got? It's a warm-up uh, set for uh, back. At least two. Okay. So, um, 15 up and overs, that's just gonna limber up. Oh dear, that was from yesterday. Whatever you feel right here, right now, that's yesterday's workout. I got a little kink in my back too. I should have uh, um, foam rolled, but I did not. So I think I'll bring a foam roller here. Um, band, uh, you know, a dowel, like a, a, a bar, something to allow you to up and over with those shoulders. And I'm saying 15, it's just a nice, easy tempo um, to get the blood flowing in your upper body because we're gonna do back. Big, beautiful, bodacious back. There we go. And then what do we do? Oh, it says circles. And I kinda meant, not circles. Uh, what I meant was just these. Okay, so that's what, um, half circles, I guess, or snow angel. You might do it, be doing this with no weight at all. Remember that you're going to be modifying your work. The, uh, the workout that I present here is a guideline for you. You're going to have to figure out what you can and can't do. And the things that you can't do, you don't... Um, you don't just skip them or you um, try them in a modified position. And if they're very, very wrong for you, um, replace them with something else that does work for you. Talk to your physiotherapist to see, you know, exactly, you know, what you can strengthen um, in order to get that position one day. You know, you want to work into the ability to do multifunctioning movements and, um, exercises. Oh, the Y is right here. So, um, in particular, I'm thinking about forward flexed positions. And with a back, you would support, um, whether on a bench, an adjustable bench is a really smart thing to have so that you can focus on, um, Isolating the muscle without harming the stability, the stabilizers, oftentimes that's what's going on. You know, you strained a back or sciatica or something and you don't want to um, you don't want it to cause, cause it to flare up, but you do want to get your workout done. You gotta. You just gotta, right? There's no choice. At this age, we gotta keep going forward. Oh, no matter what they put in front of us. So I'm going for a swim today. I'm going to go for my last swim. 
until this thing is over. Oh my God. We're going to have to figure out some skiing issues. Like maybe we can get up to uh, Blue Mountain to ski. I don't know. This is like really hard. <laughs> uh, up and over. Oh, that's a little bit heavy. Um, yeah, see, if you held this close, it's almost like a T or um, the Y, right? So if I could take it out a little wider, I can go right for a full range. Up and over. So what do we got first? We've got double dumbbell row. Oh, and a band pull down. Now this, I'll show you with a band. Here is the pull down. Um, I'm going to, let me think. I'm gonna do a band. I'm gonna do a, a band pullover. Uh, we have two band pullovers with an ISO hold at this at the neck. So I'll show them both like this. Um, let's go those circles. Once again, you're going to move in ways that suit your, um, your body this morning, all right? How did you sleep? Um, where are you tight? <sighs> the other thing we got to get into is our, our breathing again. I, I've forgotten to do our breathing towards the end. I breathe really hard through the whole workout. Um, I just feel that the oxygen, the muscles, the stability that uh, your abs can provide movements, right? There we go. 10 reps for a double dumbbell row, and then we're gonna go heavier. Um, Double dumbbell row is very difficult for people that have uh, stability issues in forward flex position, right? Double dumbbell row really causes your core to work. And for, for those that don't have a problem, it's a very good core workout, low back workout. If that is not you, you will have to find um, a chair, a stool, um, uh, something to give you lens support right there. So now I'm stable here and my upper back can work in this position. And you're going to have to play with that one, right? You might need to come into it and perform the movements with no weight at all and rehearse and allow your brain to pull this all together saying, this is not going to hurt me. And you got to develop a trust with those muscles. It sounds woo woo, but I talked, I, 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 I believe you have to visualize and you have to rehearse and you have to allow your body to, you know, um, feel the movement before you do the movement. All right. So there you go. 10. I'll just show you one here with support. And what do we got? 10. And then the band pulled out. Good. So here I am. Safe down, safe up. Again, if you guys have the um, lat pull down machine, you'll be using that. Even you guys that have machines, every once in a while we come to a band is a nice variety. All right, and max reps here, so that you're gonna up tempo it and pop down. all day. Max reps. Um, back to your double dumbbell row. You may be 
using a heavier weight now because it's eight rep set. All right, I think I'll go up next round. your weights next. Band pull down. So you're not just pulling from your shoulders. Um, you have to feel the, the um, depression and the contraction of your upper back shoulder blades going this way, okay? It's not just this. It's that, okay? Practice. You don't get it right away. It's very... You know, our bodies want to work um, as a team in unison. It's very hard for us to get to a point where you're isolating each muscle. Um, there's the prime mover right here, which is the big back muscle. And then the assisting auxiliary muscles that are also working. And oftentimes you'll feel it in them. Like you say, oh my gosh, my biceps are killing What's going on? Those are the auxiliary muscles that are jumping in to help. Eight and eight. for eight with support. I don't think I could do, should be six. I don't think I could do um, unsupported there. set six reps right once again that's your back okay that's the movement right there arms follow it's not just this pump. That's for something else. That's for at the end of the workout when you go, yes, it's over. <laughs> crazy. So what's our next one here? Uh, seesaw row. This is another one if you're having tr if if you're having trouble. If it's not feasible to do a forward lean um, use support or stretch if you've been given a um, physiotherapy rehab exercise by your um, physiotherapist, then this is the time to do it, okay? Incorporate a, incorporate your rehab into your workout for a while. You might do that for a month, two months. You're gonna do it until it's fixed. That's what you're gonna do, right? All right, see you and a good morning. So, woo! Seesaw row, you know Gorilla is forward and dead stop. So you'll stop here, that's a gorilla, and it stops, and then you have to pick it up and lift again. Seesaw is more of a piston pump, and it's a more rhythmic movement, but try and hit each time. Even though it looks like I am just popping it back and forth, I'm actually hitting each time. I feel a contraction on each one, 
All right, and then your good morning. Okay, for low back. And again, for those of you that have forward flex issues, what is the exercise that your physiotherapist has given you for, um, um, for your back? It could just be these. It could be these. Um, insert the insert uh, the work that you need. Okay, let's go. I like this better. And 20. I forgot what the count was on that, but right there, that was supposed to be 15. I got 20 out of it. Right there, remember, now, my low back has been working hard to do that, and now I'm asking it to do a good morning, which is more work for that area, all right? We hit it with an isometric hold for the seesaw, and now we're going through the range of motion for um, the good morning. And that should be 10. Okay. Uh, seesaw row. I'm going to hit stick with these weights. You might want to go up and wait. It's up to you. I'm okay. <laughs> procrastinating. Uh, okay. like our uh, live feed is a little shaky today. I hope that we're doing okay. Oh, wow. Really feeling that in my low back today. Interesting. I'm trying to remember what we did yesterday that might have um, worked that low back as well. I tried to walk yesterday, it was frigid. Oh. Alrighty, we got two more of these, let's just keep going here. There we go. Little, little, little heavier, just a little. break. Yeah, you're doing a superset for back. Um, both exercises really challenging the low back. So rest as much as you need. Do as many reps as you need. Choose the weight that, that challenges you and uh, stretch when you when you're done. We got pullovers after this. It's going to be a nice stretch. Let's get through this. Eight and eight. I don't know how. I decided to count that at the beginning when I was writing it, but that's how I decided to count it now.
for those of you that are um, not familiar with um, stiff leg deadlift, what we do in tomorrow, drive your hips out, drive them in. It focuses on low posterior chain and back has to support. Now when we're doing a good morning, it looks like the same movement, except that you're stabilizing. You're not displacing those hips. You're trying to keep them there. You're almost pointing in your toes. And now you're focusing more on low back. Hamstrings and glutes are still involved, but now you're changing the focus to your back, okay? So it'll take a little while to, um, you know, figure out those two movements. But uh, with time, your brain engages, central nervous system kicks in, and there, um, you know you learn to understand exactly what and why we're doing it and how it affects you and your limitations. It's good. We all have limitations. Okay, this is our last one. Seesaw row eight. after this one, I'll tell you that much. Good, good morning. Tipping into your toes, forward bow, Try not to displace those hips too much backwards, all right? And that just gives a heck of a lot more work to the low back. But listen, it's controlled and it's thoughtful. And you know exactly how much weight you're lifting with it, all right? This is a safe way to strengthen your back and stretch it in ways in, in ways that your back was meant to work, okay? Oftentimes, if you have low back problems, oftentimes, because there's been an imbalance, right? The muscles have been working hard to compensate for something. And, uh, you know, you got to pull it back. Oh, I hear Julian. Kitten. All right, pullovers. You guys, pullovers on a flat. What else is with pullovers? You can love pullovers. Oh, band, pull apart. And then I want this and just pull, pull, pull. A pulse. Okay? This will be nice. 12, 12, and 8. Mm hmm. 12. I'm gonna, it's three times through, so I'll pull both of them over here. Now remember, I'm gonna do this. We use this exercise on chest day and on back day. Um, again, the focus on back day is a little bit um, more lengthened and stretched into a greater range of motion and limited to here, to about the forehead. So that's gonna hit the back, all right, for the pullovers. On a chest day, we might go all the way back and forward right up here, because then we wanna contract chest as well. You can do full range and just get used to this movement. It's gonna hit it all, it's perfect. Or you can just hammer it in the range that hits the back. Okay, hello, Julian, come and see us. Safe up, safe down, okay? That's abs getting you up, right? Pull apart for upper back. Again, it's my shoulder blades squeezing together. It's not me just wrenching that to open it up for any good reason at all, just arbitrarily. I want to focus on my back and then my arms follow, okay?
Okay, building up those upper back muscles is going to take pressure and help with posture and with those erector muscles that you have so much trouble with. Pull downs. Now this is, I'm going to go double it up. Just eight. And I want to get it down to this point right here and then I just want to pulse with my back. Love it. Feels good. Those um, pullovers, such a good stretch. Julian just did a sprint but past. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try this doubled up too. Just see. Pull apart. That's a little bit much, and I'm using too much shoulder and not enough. There you go. Pull down, ISO hold. Oh, that was 12. <laughs> Shame on me for not counting properly. Actually, if I'm doing 12 and I've called for 8, I probably could handle more weight, right? Um, but it's hard to um, really dial in with a band. you got to do the best you can. Last set of 12 here. Okay. Some of you might be finishing with this last, right? Some of you might not even be getting gotten this far. I know that there's a couple of people recovering from illness, a couple of people just falling off the way again, a couple of people that are new. So ease back in, you guys. Don't, don't think that you're gonna like, oh, nail this workout and I'm gonna like get, get back to where I was. Immediately you have to progress or you're gonna I don't care how fit you are, you can't come in at it back like that. You can't. Um, oh, I know what we're doing next. Eesh, for your low back. Um, so I gotta do the band. Easy in, easy in. I mean, once you understand that that is um, all you have to do, it's such a peaceful feeling to say, oh, I've been straying a bit, so I'm just gonna slowly go back in. I'm gonna get just as far as if I did like a, a killer workout. 
And then hang on here. Whew. Here comes your band pull downs and the pulse at the bottom. I, I think I called it an ISO hold, really, because I do want a contraction there. And then I want to pulse through that contraction. Nice. Hello, buddy. Come here. Come and say hi. Oh, don't be a poop. Come here. <laughs> All right, this is it. Uh, I'm going to just move this a little bit so it's not so in your face. Um, when you are doing these hyper extensions, you can do them on the floor fully supported. That's great. And that's safe. All right. A little more work would be off the end of a bench. And it's a frog reverse hyper. Your feet are together. And then I wanted the full range hyper after that. I don't know if I'll be able to get 10 and 10 out. We'll see, right? We'll just see. Move that forward. And um, I'm going to work off the end of this bench. If you have a ottoman, a chair, um, there's a chair that I could use. My um, plyo benches. You gotta watch your hips though, okay? If you're elevated like this. Um, if you're on the floor, this position is very difficult. So just take it as best you can into a frog position and lift. Eight, nine, and ten. Now this is the full range. I want to down and extend. Who? You could do that one leg, one leg at a time, right? Extensions. Low back again. So if you've done enough because we've done a lot for low back. Let's get this, right? Good. Whew. Two more sets here. We're on to our Tabata. Wondering what time it is. Are we on schedule? Eh, not too bad. We got four minute Tabata. For those of you that are new, we do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. We go eight times. That's four minutes, okay? That's a hit. You want to give yourself a burst of, um, Intense activity, all right? Like I said, I'm, I'm trying out the um, elliptical today. I'm not familiar with it, so I'm giving this day on this just to like, it's a recognizance mission. I'm just, you know, figuring things out. Some, you have to take that time to figure things out before you can hammer a really good workout um, in a new studio or in, on a new, um, you know, a new uh, session even. Anyways. Ooh. Frog. You could have a band on this. You veterans out there. And then, I watch your stomach too. I didn't eat anything, but it felt like I did. Yeah, and then the full, full range extension. set of those guys and then we're Tabata nice all right tidy up a little bit in between there you go are you ready are you feeling good again that this might be it for you you know you might call it a day you know what I, what I, the other thing that I can suggest to you if you're new in the game is stay with us for about 20 minutes for the first week. Try and stay 25 minutes for the second week and then work up to the 30, 40 minutes that we do regularly. By the end of a month, 
you should be able to be doing most of this work, albeit you may be modifying weight or you might be resting more in between sets. You know, it's going to take a while to, you know, get strong and feel good about this. But, um, yeah, there's so many ways that you can plan to ease in. Bravo, people. Bravo. I'm going to move right into... Oh, let's just go over this... Um, but we don't really need it yet, is the breath. If you are leaving us now, we want to signal recovery, all right? And for so many years, I was just saying, okay, you've got to go now and recover, and I never even give you any, like, legit, legitimate things to do. And uh, we started doing this breath that really um, sets your central nervous system, your brain and your nervous system, um, right into recovery mode, and it is... One big breath to fill the lungs, one small breath to top it up, and then a slow exhale. That breath pattern will signal to your brain recovery. It's time to slow it down, okay? So take that and, and, and uh, use it. Uh, see how it works for you. We're going to go into the Tabata. Um, anything that you need like a, a rower, a, a skipping rope, a bike, whatever you got. You could just march on the spot, use a step up and down. Um, like I said, I'm going to try out our elliptical here. And I got to get rid of this music too. This is bugging me bad. There we go. Okay, and our Tabata timer is coming up right now. Maybe I'll put it right here for you guys. Us, us, us. Um, view full screen, 20 seconds, and we're going to go. Are you ready? I'm going to waste about 10 seconds getting on that thing. I think that's all we need. Good. 20 seconds. Ah, uh, you can see it. Or I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Now, I found earlier that this is a little bit squeaky. I'm going to see if I can get it. your 10 second rest. Uh, I'm going to try and set this resistance up a little bit. Okay, and go for 20 seconds hard. halfway through.
and go. 20 seconds. We're done. Okay, that's our Tabata. Recovery. If you're looking for a, um, a back stretch, when you're doing this one, the pigeon pose, and then you're turning off into your uh, rotation, you should feel some nice um, a lengthening in um, the leg and the back where it all connects up through, okay? Um, I don't want to take this too long for all of us, so hopefully that you'll um, come to our Saturday stretch classes and find out um, some movements that work for you. If you're not at a, th a therapist, okay? The other back movement I like to do Extending that arm out front, driving it into the floor to create tension, and then pulling away. Leaving that hand in contact with the floor and not dragging it back, right? And that allows the muscle group, I think this is the one I need right now. And over, yeah. What I really need now is a, a foam roller. So. I'm going to go do that. Have a fantastic day. That was awesome. I think I like that. I just got to get rid of the squeak. And um, it's perfect for leg day being tomorrow. And um, it'll be a nice, um, yeah, segue into legs. <laughs> See you guys. I'm out of here. I'm thinking about swimming. My last time in about a month. Have a good day.